Hello everyone, it's Scott Omato, and I want to show you a compact and simple, relatively simple setup for automating, self-automating, fully automating endoflames for Britannia. So let's take a look. I have four endoflames here, and they're some of the best early game ways to get mana, and even later in the game. Uh, and this is fully self-feeding. Okay, so... Trees are growing, so we have a little four tree farm here with the bonsai trees mod. And these are hopping bonsai pots. So they'll grow trees, output wood, apples, sticks, and leaves. And just go into hoppers here. I've got a hopper from each one. It'll go down to the hopper below. So this hopper feeds this hopper and feeds that hopper. Then I do have a graded hopper from the Hopper Ducks mod that is filtering for wood. So the sticks and the um, apples and the leaves are not to go into this furnace. The wood is going into the top of the furnace here. Okay, and then I'm using the sticks and the saplings to from out of this chest. They're going into the chest. And then I have a flat transfer node. Uh, from extra utilities here you can see there's the flat transfer node between them just for compact purposes and it has a filter on it that's taking oak saplings and sticks and feeding them into this furnace as the fuel source so it'll burn sticks or if it runs out of sticks then it'll burn saplings to make charcoal then charcoal is going into a hopper on the bottom of this and pulling out the charcoal and feeding it here where at the bottom I have an auto dropper okay from the auto dropper mod and a pressure plate on top so it's just whenever there's not charcoal there it feeds it to the top of the pressure plate and then feeds these guys so there's four endo flames and it's really just enough to keep up with all four of them uh, the setup allows you to keep up with all four if you have four trees and to keep it continually fed. And so the only remaining item is a sound muffler from Extra Utilities, which just gets rid of the clicking from the pressure plate and a bit of the mana, although I could put wood on here on the uh, mana spreader to quiet it down. So it's almost a continuous flow of mana, about as quick as it can go, and we can see that it'll easily fill up the pool over time. Um, but it's a very quick early game setup. And the mods that I use, just to recap, are extra utilities where I used a retrieval node here to get sticks, oak saplings, apple and oak leaves. Basically everything but the wood. Because the wood is going down through this graded hopper here. Um, I could have put a transfer node, but it allows it to be a little bit more compact because I can put a tree on top of this. The trees have to be on hoppers. They can't go on the retrieval node by themselves. Um, then there's the auto dropper mod, which does the auto dropping uh, and pushes it upward onto the pressure plate. And um, then the, um, great, the hopper ducks mod, just for the graded hopper, and then the bonsai tree mod, uh, which is growing the trees. The overall dimensions of this setup are five by four. Um, so it's very compact. And by the way, these materials are very inexpensive. Uh, the extra utilities pipes are inexpensive and the ducts and everything. Uh, there's nothing that's costly at all in this setup. So it's a great early game way to fully automate your materials your mana production for Batania. And I hope you learned something. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, if you have better ideas, I'd love to hear them. And anyway, this is Scott Omato signing off. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.